We first brought you this next story last week. People in Winter Park are on edge right now after home burglaries keep happening in the area. Now there have been five just this month. This map shows the location of those burglaries. You can see they are happening as far south in Winter Park as near Blue Jacket Park, all the way up to just south of Howell Branch Road. Now, people have been telling that they are concerned about all of this. News 6's Emily McLeod is following this for us. She is live outside the Winter Park Police Department where a community meeting will be taking place in just a little bit, Emily. Yeah, people tell me they're concerned because all of this comes as the police are investigating a separate string of burglaries that happened in January in Winter Park. Now, while tonight's meeting is the department's quarterly neighborhood advisory committee meeting, since these burglaries happened, we do expect they will get brought up. Now, I've been trying to get answers for weeks. I first received a phone call that the break-ins were continuing to happen at the beginning of the month, and since then, I've been talking to neighbors and police, trying to get some answers for the people who live in this community. Now, to bring everybody at home up to speed, I first received a phone call that continued break-ins were happening in Winter Park at the beginning of the month. Now, since then, based on a community crime map from the, from the Winter Park Police Department, there was at least one residential break-in happening a week. I followed up on the tip and spoke to people on White Cell and Interlochen where two of the burglaries took place. A week later, I received a tip about the most recent break-in that happened on Preserve Point Drive in the Windsong neighborhood. We decided to follow up on that break-in and spoke to a man who was frustrated about the recent increase in criminal activity. It's extremely frustrating to see this happen again and again and again. And we are doing everything we can to, to stop this, but so far the police have not been able to stop it. We have not been able to stop it, but we need to up things. Now, after that break in Winter Park Police did provide me with an interview and they told me they're actively investigating all of these incidents, but they also said there's a lot of misinformation surrounding these burglaries. Now, we've heard several theories from viewers and neighbors as to how they think these burglaries are happening and why they are happening, but we don't have very many clear answers, which is why we're here tonight to try to get some answers and get some results for the people that live in this community. Now, the meeting is set to go from 6 to 8 this evening here at the Winter Park Police Department. Coming up on News 6 at 11, we'll have a full wrap-up of what was discussed. For now, reporting live from the Winter Park Police Department, I'm Emily McLeod, getting results News 6. Thank you, Emily.